Hello, and welcome to November 2016 ETS mid-month energy forecast. I'm Donna Lopez, and um, I'll share again that my original intention with an energy forecast was to talk about the energy. It seems that spirit has me speaking about timeline possibilities. Um, and I'm okay with that, but I, I do also uh, want to begin the energy forecast <clears throat> with its original intention, which was to talk about how we might be interpreting the energy on the planet right now and how it might be affecting us. So today is November 14th. We have our super moon. I'm in, I'm in uh, California, so we had it early this morning. So I don't know if that is affecting many of you. Um, I am personally affected by the planets, usually after the fact. I get a feeling and, and if I check it out, it's usually in alignment with uh, some sort of planetary shift, but I am not an astrologer, nor do I pretend to be. So each of these channelings are organic and they uh, come in in real time. I, they're as new to me as they are to you. And I, I'm deciphering whether or not to talk about um, some of the energy, well, I'm not going to because, I, and I think you all know where I'm going. I think we've all been inundated with different sorts of opinions and ideas and philosophies and that's not where I want to go with this work. Um, my channel newsletter did state that there would be a revelation, surprising to some and not to others. So with that, uh, let's begin. So as we start today, I'm going to work uh, primarily first with the uh, energies that are on the planet right now at this time and uh, see what they're wanting to bring up. And uh, the first thing I'm, I'm feeling and sensing is I feel there's a lot of, um, I want to breathe when I say this, but there's a lot of energy flowing through um, and I can't say that. It's, it's almost as though it's, it's, it's just flowing, flowing, flowing. And depending on your uh, level of, of, of consciousness, you might be wanting to fix it in a certain place or, um, or stop it and, 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 and label it. Um, but what I'm getting is just a lot of timeline energy flowing through, just information flowing through. Uh, it's not pushing, it's not pulling, it, and it's not speeding through. It's just, I feel like a plug is released and, and, and energy is, is flowing through. I also, at the same time, am, am feeling that a lot of us are going to be um, working within our own density, our own mind constructs of reality and um, kind of taking off or releasing. I, I feel like the energies that were, uh, while, while we might have thought they were useful or they kept us somewhat grounded, um, I feel like it's, it's like releasing us so that we can be a little freer and kind of blossom out in a fuller space. So I, that's what I'm really feeling is this blossoming energy coming to everyone. Hmm. And I see uh, a question mark over here on this side. So I see there, there is a lot of uh, questions or a big question. Uh, but I see that out maybe two or three days uh, we might be getting. Um, and I don't want to say for, for what I'm sensing is rather than it being a question, 
You know, the universe answers us when we ask questions. If we think we know the answer, there's nothing for the universe to do because we already am telling the universe what, what, what we believe the answer to be. So this can also come in like an idea. And I'm seeing this like in a two or three day timeline. I'm looking to the side because my calendar is there. So that would be around the 16th of November, which is a Wednesday. So uh, be ready for some epiphanies. Um, and pay attention to nuances, uh, little, little feelings, little ideas, um, little nudges. I also feel that sleep state will, um, it's not so much that I want to say sleep state will be increased, but, but I, I think going to sleep is going to feel very good, uh, because it is, um, I feel there's a lot of transmuting of our of our energies that is going on in our sleep state. Um, so so we will be um, and I want to say this is like the alchemist. Our our body chemistry will be shifting and changing as a result. And for many going into sleep state, it, this is not an escape uh, feeling that I'm sensing as much as it feels really go good to go into what I like to call summer land or the spirit world um, to go in and just kind of be reattuned with uh, your true essence, what you truly came here to be and to express on the planet at this time. During the rest of the week, um, I feel as though we're going to see a lot of things unfolding. It's It'll be like one thing after another, after another, after another. Um, some of it will feel dramatic to some and uh, status quo for others. Uh, for, for those that uh, maybe have a higher understanding, you'll see it as just uh, a process that is needing to take place uh, for, humani for humanity to uh, come to the, hmm, I don't want to say conclusion, but I think for many they're looking for a conclusion. Um, and what my teachers are saying is that we want to be conclusion free. Um, that just allow this unraveling to take place. That it's useful and it's what's necessary at this time. And as we move further into the weekend, which would be the 19th and the 20th of November, um, I want to say that a lot of words and things are going to build up in your throat chakra and um, be aware of, of divine timing, the right time to express those words. Uh, that the energy that you're feeling building up is actually spirit filling you up with new concepts, new ideas, new flows, new opportunities. Um, but if we don't allow it to, to, to percolate and, 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 and build up into the fullness that it's meant to be, um, it, it can be like just spewing out words or, or just talking without action. We actually want the action behind the words. So allow uh, this throat chakra energy to fill up and um, allow the, uh, the lower energies, the sacral energies to, uh, you know, percolate and bring in this creative flow that uh, is going to pull you and drive you forward. Because I feel like we're going to be pulled forward and pulled up by our bootstraps. And um, I want you to know that uh, coming into Monday, Tuesday, and that you will definitely feel exactly that. You will feel pulled up by your bootstraps and supported. It's as though um, the higher energies are, 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 bringing, are, are raising our vibration um, out of mind constructs and delineations and linear thinking. Um, <clears throat> And as I said, depending on your level of evolution or uh, where you're at in your consciousness, um, how you will um, sense and feel and interpret these energies will be specific to you. And then as we move into the rest of the week, which would be the 22nd to the 25th, um, which is Tuesday through Friday, <clears throat> 
I'm sorry, I had to do a little mini break in there. Um, so as we come into uh, Tuesday through Friday, the 22nd to the 25th of November, we'll be hitting Thanksgiving around that time. Um, hmm. What, what, what I'm being told is there's going to be a lot of um, clearing uh, around our um, lung and um, heart chakra area. Uh, and not so much of, of a healing as much as uh, a clearing, a, um, a, a higher perspective, a higher knowing, a, um, a higher uh, intuitive understanding. And I am hearing placate to no one. So while you have that higher understanding, stand in your own sovereignty. Uh, and, and, and that can also mean allowing others to do the same. Hmm. I do feel that Thursday, Friday, there will be a lot of um, impulse to organize, um, create some structure, a protocol, let's say, in a very um, loving way. Mm -hmm. And then as we move in uh, to the weekend, the 26th and the 27th of November, um, I'm hearing change. Um, and I'm feeling this, this, and I know we've all feel like we've gone through a lot of change, but this is, I feel things coming to you, um, change coming to you as a result of how you've interpreted the information actually, or the energies. Uh, so I feel like these opportunities for, uh, just change, uh, and, and I am hearing promotion, maybe self-promotion, but, uh, an expansion of self-expression is the word I want to use. Um, that, that will be this, the space that we're in. I also want you to be aware that for many, there may be what I'm hearing, hair splitting, as in hair splitting remarks, hair splitting circumstances. Remember to continue to unplug and uh, step back, take a breather, and remember the illusionary game that we're in choose whether or not you're going to be plugged into situations or whether or not you're going to see it as the illusion it is just playing itself out as a timeline choice mm -hmm. and as we move into the end of the month which is the 28th 29th and the 30th of November I'm, I'm sensing that um, Many of you may feel out of your body. You may feel not really uh, integrated. Uh, so uh, um, being, you know, earthing a little bit, taking your shoes off, um, maybe even um, psychically you may open up in such a way that you may be unsure of uh, where am I at, what's going on. <laughs> so uh, there may be a need to kind of connect into a reality construct that, that works for you. Um, that you can identify with that feels like comfort. Um, I don't feel that this will be um, harsh, but it will be more uh, like being awake in the dream. So that is my energy forecast. Now, since uh, Spirit was giving more of a, mm, let's say, uh, I, I want to say, uh, um, <laughs> let's just say a reading of what may occur during the next couple of weeks. I'm going to go ahead and, and do that because many people liked that. And so I'll start that aspect right now. Um, so I'll begin again with uh, today the 14th. And I'm going to go clear through the week um, from Monday to Friday. And um, I'm hearing President Trump. I'm hearing that. I'm hearing President Trump, President Trump. So I'm hearing uh, and I'm seeing a big, huge cannon. 
um, and I don't see the cannon exploding at all. This is an old cannon. It is a, um, I want to say he represents a very strong, uh, grounded, sort of earthy energy. Um, a very practical way of doing things. Uh, but maybe his application could use some, some help. Um, so, so we'll be hearing a lot about, uh, um, mm, Let's just say program his programs and um, his his ideas uh, and maybe in a very uh, revolutionary sort of way. You know, we're, we're revolutionizing this world, etc. And uh, that's okay because it's coming from uh, his level of awareness. Okay, that's his way of doing business. Uh, and and I'm not going to judge how that is for for everyone or not. Uh, it's just that's that's what we will hear. And I will hear, I, I am hearing a lot of talk, 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 talk. Um, so there will be a lot of, uh, uh, I want to say closer to the end of the week of people saying that's rhetoric. That, that's just talk, 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 talk. Um, but, but as we come into the week and I'm going to see more, we're going to see more of a timeline measure of, of things happening. Like, okay, this is already being implemented. This isn't being implemented. And I think some people uh, with love, I want to say, will be surprised at the, um, the softness and the flow of it. Um, that it's not going to feel as harsh as it had seemed <clears throat> it might would be. So as we move into um, the weekend, the 19th and the 20th, I feel as though I'm hearing confused. A lot of people are very confused. So you're going to see a lot of people very disconnected, very scattered, and very confused and very upset. You may see a lot of people, I'm almost feeling emotional as I'm saying this. You may uh, see and experience a lot of people very emotional and um, very dis disconnected and, and, and disconcerted. Disconcerted. hope that's a word. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> it, it's as though they, they are on overload and they can't process. Um, and, and so you'll, you'll be experiencing a lot of this. And I want to say be careful when you're on the roads and driving because when people are in this state, they're not fully present in their vehicle, and they're meaning in their physical vehicle, let alone in their in their cars. So, just have an awareness. I also am hearing tornadoes, so we're going to hear some issues of tornadoes uh, coming in. I want to say closer to the uh, beginning of next week, which would be the 21st. Um, so, uh, and I am I'm hearing a location. I, I don't know if I want to share that, but. Um, mm. I want to say the middle, maybe the, the middle of, of the country a bit closer. Well, I'm going to say it, Oklahoma. All right. But I just want to say that it, it, it'll be more like a clearing, 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 like, like just tornadoes whipping up and, and clearing the energy in those uh, uh, areas. Uh, I feel like it's a cleansing and a clearing that needs to take place. I don't necessarily feel there will be a lot of uh, destruction. It will just be a tornado hit this area and, and the area was cleared out. It'll be that kind of a situation. Um, as we move into the rest of the week, which would be the 22nd to the 25th, so that again is taking us through Thanksgiving, um, I feel like we're going to hear of um, some people uh, stepping down in the military ranks, um, perhaps uh, generals or lieutenants, um, withdrawing from their, uh, I don't want to say from their support, but disengaging, disengaging. And um, I feel like, I feel a strong emotional connection with that energy. Um, it's almost like I'm seeing them taking the, 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 you know, the, I don't know what they call that, the, um, stripes that they wear whatever but taking it off and like i don't want this anymore i don't want this i don't want to do this any longer um and and i feel very decisive and i feel very kind of clear and good about this and and um i'm hearing changed uh so i i am seeing that there will be a change as a result um 
that the people that are doing this are changed. And I am also hearing something about superior. Um, maybe it is because the change of command is, uh, is also changing. So changing of the guards, let's say. You know, there's a new commander coming in, so I don't resonate with that energy, so I am going to um, step, step aside. Uh, changing of the guards, yeah. Okay, and then as we move into the weekend of the 26th and 27th, um, I want to say this is a good monetary time for many. Um, a financial rewards. Um, really looking at our assets and deciding uh, maybe maybe what, what do I want to do with my assets even. So everything is around uh, financial abundance, which feels pretty good. Um, as we move into the 28th through the 30th, I'm hearing health, and I feel like there may be a health concern out in the world. Um, I am hearing health scare. I will say it as I'm hearing it. It's, it's a health scare, but that doesn't mean we need to be scared because of it. But I do hear something of a health scare. Um, and I am hearing something about perhaps immunization or a new flu shot, something to that in that regard. I also am hearing something about Vice President. I don't know if this is Vice President Biden or if this will be our new uh, Vice President-elect, but there is something, uh, a concern there, or uh, I am hearing forewarned. Forewarned is forearmed. So, so there's something around that as well. With that, uh, I want to say thank you. Namaste. If you would like your own uh, private reading, channeling, you can contact me at reveranddonnalopez.com, www. And uh, thank you for being a part of ETS Energetic Transmission Sessions. Take care. Till next month.